Assalamu alaikum. I wanted to make a quick video on the topic of Muhammad Salah and the controversy. Well, it's not really a controversy, it's not really anything. But I think there was someone in the Dawah scene that made a post uh, about Muhammad Salah and his recent um, photo shoot or something. This video isn't about that, but it's more about the reaction because it concerns a topic that I have been quite fascinated by for probably be probably about eight years and that's this whole don't judge me thing, right? I'd say the vast majority of non practicing and even some practicing Muslims have this don't judge me fallacy. And the reason I call it a fallacy is because I'll give you an example. Um, and I have stress tested this idea, I've discussed it with people who I think are smart and even people who I think are ordinary practicing Muslims or whatever and it seems to have been proven to be quite resilient and that's why I'm sharing it right hopefully this makes some sense so it goes like this if I go on to this um, person in the Dawah scene who's made this uh, video or comment about Muhammad Salah and then I look into the comments all of the comments or most of the comments will be accusing this person, the negative comments, will be accusing this person of judging Muhammad Salah and saying things like, who are you to judge? This is between him and Allah and everyone has sins, look at your hair coat, that kind of thing. And I think to myself, no one seems to understand that is kind of paradoxical because the moment you say to someone that you're judging me or why are you judging you've just judged them because you have just judged their intention you don't know why they're saying what they've said you don't know why they've posted what they've posted and by um, putting your attention towards that or raising awareness towards that you've just done what you're accusing the said person of doing for example in this case people might say that Ali Dawa, he's um, made public Muhammad Salah's sin. That's probably the main thing that people say. Now, by saying to Ali Dawa, you've made public Muhammad Salah's sin, you've just done the same thing that you're accusing him of doing because you've just made public him making public someone else's sin. Do you understand? So, it's just, it's never made sense to me. And it's just one of them topics that kind of just, I always laugh at, I always read these comments and just kind of laugh. And I don't know, that might sound weird, but it just makes me laugh. And I, I'm sure I'll continue to come across these. It's just hilarious because 